Hey, I'm Arjo. You know, if you've been following this at all, you know I'm just in it. Keep a dog dude here over this art park that I built on city property. This happened to be my house. They wanted to stop me from working on the art park, so they were going to put up a chain link fence, but that didn't work out. So now they decided to board me out. I guess that's what you get when you do things. But that's what we're going to talk about here real quick. What we're going to talk about is the city of St. Paul sent me this letter. It came from the Housing and Redevelopment Authority. It comes from a lady named Patricia Lindendahl, Executive Director. See, I'm not only going to have the city on this side of me, I have the city out front in the street, obviously, but I also have the city over here. <laughs> I actually have the city in back of me, too. I was surrounded. I'm back. I have another hearing in the morning. I suspect in the morning I'll lose like I've lost the last four. But they don't, uh, they don't, uh, this hearing they don't take evidence and they don't let me talk. I don't know how they expect me to, do, to even come close to it. Point me. They said I had made improvements to this lot since 2002 when they gave me permission to kind of keep it as an open space and the conditioner was in. So the conditioner was in was a, was a big hole in the ground where a house was in and, and just clay. So I decided to do a few things. They said I could not build any permanent structure, which I the water, water goes and comes. We know that all the time. That's my house over there. You can see where it's still boarded up here. Over here, I built a little greenhouse. That's just a little hook thing, and boom, flat from down. It comes down. Not, not Big, it's got wheels inside. I just crank them down. We hook it on the back of the car, and away we go. So if you have uh -huh. any hillbilly girls out there, let's just get it going in the car. I know all about that hillbilly <laughs> stuff. Come on. And then this is an upper level. Now, it changes over to my yard right about here again. So we got to cross to my yard just for a few seconds to get back to the third yard. Because we live on the side of a cliff in the house there. Yes, indeed. I've been condemned, by the way. And I'm going to leave my house. And I have a really nice house. I'm really sad about it. I, I really am. I would, but that's just life, I guess. <laughs> this is more city property. I thought maybe they should get a little garden out of it. And they, do you know you have to have a permit to build a garden in St. Paul? Said so. That's true. Well, I learned something today. So, because still city lot, this is my food. By the way, Patricia, I know you told me to vacate this property on August 26th, which is kind of intricate at the time. You didn't really come get it. And secondly, you never take away a farmer's farming during the season, if you, if you, if you don't like me uh, for sure cropping, you gotta wait till at least to get the crop in. And by that I mean eggplants, Brussels sprouts, lettuce, dill, and my vegetables over here. So we can just wait till that's done. I'd be more than happy to give it back to you, I guess. And there's one more little park down here which I kind of use as my art studio with all my weird things. Oh yeah. Cool, huh? It is very cool. I've often, you know, it took me forever to figure out how many levels there actually were back there. There are nine levels in these there two are guys nine. Behind, behind. It's, uh, it's kind of a, I got a thing about Dante's Inferno and the nine levels in hell. This house is full of wonderful things like this built-in in the corner here. Oh, well in that case then here he comes. Action! Hi! We're in the house now. I heard you made a little tour of the outside area. I'm telling you, it's been no picnic here for a while, though. Alright, my house has been condemned. Unfit for human habitation. So terrible that they had to board it up. I'm just going to show you the top half for now. We'll go to a little bit more. This is a uh, very beautiful vaulted ceilings. We like we have stainless steel appliances. We have older. Okay. We like our little stained glass light we have here. We have stained glass windows that go in a couple of pre marked precious. This house, this house is all uh, directly oriented towards the south. On the south side of this house, you're going to find a tremendous amount of glass, and it heats up really easy. That's why we have these high tech little computer heaters in the wall. Yeah, they, indeed. They care thing, but we have a tile in here. We like to have a nice bathroom. Now, this is just the upstairs. We have three floors, two floors upstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm afraid we haven't quite cleaned up as much as we should. We weren't expecting so much company. But, we think it's a nice bathroom. Like Looks nice to me. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's condemned. This is, yeah, people shouldn't be here. And then I shouldn't be here. They may arrest me again. I had to, last week I got to tell you, came on Wednesday and they did all this stuff. And they took my cats away. 
They did. No, I thought it was really young. That's when it struck me. They just want to take the sauce and they want to hurt me, do anything. I left the sauce, shirt, sandals, and a pair of pants. And it was hot, over 100, and I just wandered for a few hours. Eventually they came and got me and locked me up in a mental psych hospital for a while. And I'll tell you why. The truth of the matter is, I did feel like I'd reached the end of the road. I've been here 25 years. Every neighbor in my block, every neighbor wrote a letter for me. Every neighbor has been in here. I had 20 cops that have been in here and said, what the hell are they talking about? That's what we want to know. What the hell are they talking about? If they could tell us. Apparently they're very troubled by this door up here. That's a great many. Uh, uh, 1910 or so. It's just a little Beautiful. To put in here. Uh, uh, walk-in closet. Uh, I like the snowflakes on the here. wall. You like the white the spots? No, the snowflakes on the wall. The snowflakes on the wall. <laughs> you know, I tell you, all I do now is, it, is run and get scared. I, don't, I don't have time to hardly paint. I spend half the time traveling. I, I've never been so scared of things. I know I'm going to lose. I know they're going to take my house. I know I'm going to be 60 years old. But you know what? I'm going to be living, sleeping on the street. For posterity? We're in for, for, for history, we can know that this, people, if this is how your home looks, you will be condemned and this they will tear you down. <laughs> this is a condemnable house in the city of St. Paul. No, they did say, though, that it doesn't count that the cops came and looked and said. Well, you know yeah. Because they said that cops don't talk in time. No, uh, you know, the, the code enforcement rules stuff. Well, I yeah. got to tell you this. Cops aren't doctors, but... Pretty much, I think they can pretty well tell when somebody's sick too. Yeah, and, I, and most people can too. Y'all, that kind of that kind of hogwash went on water so long. Someday, mm -hmm. St. Paul, we'd like to have you come take a look. What could you be afraid of to take a look? It's been years since you've been here, over a year since anybody's ever been in this house, and you just want to crush them. Back you let off biz. Today's Labor Day. Hey, do you know what my day was? Guys coming along measuring my house because they. Department of Safety Instruction in St. Paul is asking for demolition bids on the house. They haven't even got the part for the board to demol de demolish it yet. Mm. It does kind of give you a little bit of things that there might be a little handwriting on the wall. All right, I hope you enjoyed this talk. We're going to get back to another part of the house later on. I've done a lot of work on this place for 25 years. I can at least tell somebody before I go on my way. Bye. These are the steps that go down to the bottom. Each, of course, layer has its own unique style. These steps are pretty sturdy. I don't think they're going anywhere. I mean, you know, hey, if we have any, uh, any inspectors that want to wa are watching this video, I'd like to give their input on how sturdy they think this foundation, A, is, that's been here for 17 years, or B, these stairs that have also been here for 17 years. Um, according to the inspector here, this foundation, I mean this retaining wall, and these stairs are liable to cave in any moment and kill us all. Of course, I don't necessarily agree. People come in all the time and they decorate their own, they put their own art in here, like uh, the stable that they've dubbed the People's Park. Whenever anything inappropriate is put on here, of course, he immediately covers it up. I just don't see it, personally. Awesome stuff. I love this place. This is my urban retreat here. I mean, it's beautiful. I don't... Uh, I don't foresee this falling apart and killing me anytime soon. As a matter of fact, I bring my one-year-old and five-year-old grandkids here daily. They love it here. This place is amazing. You know, this is a disaster waiting to happen if you ask the city. But if you ask me, I think the city has another use for this land. But this man is painstakingly taking care of for 17 years. That the city just abandoned and left to go to hell. It's a shame, really.
all this effort, all this time, all this sweat, for what?